Hi, this is Kevin Buzzard, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, logic, basic logic, and how Lean turns basic logic problems into levels of a computer game. Uh, so this is uh, sheet one of the Lean logic problems that go with my Introduction to Mathematics course, Introduction to University Mathematics. And each of these yellow dots we see on the side here uh, is a level of the game we're going to learn how to play right now. So let's Without further ado, let's go down to the first. Let's go down to the first level, and it seems to be here. Uh, uh, and we've got to prove that uh, if p is a proposition, then p implies p. So how do I know we've got to do that? Is if we look on the right here, uh, this weird little sideways t thing. Uh, the 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 proposition that shows up after that is the proposition we're trying to prove. So here, p is a proposition. That's what this thing here means. Uh, p colon prop. P is a proposition, so p is a true-false statement. And we've got to prove that p implies p. So we've got to prove that if p is true, then p is true. So that's pretty obvious, really. We could prove it by drawing a truth table, but let's just prove it directly. We've got to show that if p is true, then p is true. So how do we do that using Lean's tactics? Uh, the first thing we need to do is use the intro tactic. So intro hp. So what does that just mean? The idea is uh, we need to prove that if P is true, then P is true. So let's assume that P is true. That's what that line does. Intro HP. Uh, so now HP is a proof of P. That's what you see. This thing over on the right has changed here. It used to be P implies P, but now it's not. The goal is now P. We've got to prove that P is true. And we have this hypothesis, HP, or this assumption, HP, that P is true. So don't get P and HP confused. P colon prop just means P is a true false statement. So it could be true or it could be false. But HP is the hypothesis that P is true. And now we've got to prove that P is true, but that's exactly the hypothesis HP. So we use the exact tactic, exact HP. Remember to put commas at the end of every tactic. And now you see it says goals accomplished because that means we've just proved that first level. You know, we've solved that first level. Uh, we've solved the first level uh, of, uh, of this world of uh, logic games. Uh, so here's the second level. You can see all the levels say sorry in because I'm just apologizing that we haven't proved them yet. Uh, this second level looks a bit weird, right? It says P implies Q implies P. So where do the brackets go, right? It's like, is it P implies Q implies P or is it P implies Q implies P? And you can see actually here, I'm moving my cursor and you see Q implies P that kind of goes, I, I can't make it say P implies Q. And, and the, the reason is Q implies P is where the brackets are. So this is a convention in computer science. That level is the same as that level there. If I put the brackets in, then see Lean just removes them because it says we don't need them. So we're trying to prove that P implies that Q implies P. So we know how to do this. We, uh, we use the same tactics. We're trying to prove that P implies something. So we're trying to prove that if P is true, then something. So let's assume that P is true. Intro, we could call it, we can call it anything. I call it, eight, we could call it carrot. Uh, intro carrot. So now our hypothesis that P is true is now called the carrot hypothesis. And now we've got to prove that Q implies P. So we've got to prove that if Q is true, then P is true. So let's assume that Q is true. Intro HQ, that's a more sensible name for the hypothesis that Q is true. And now we've got to prove that P is true, but that's exactly our hypothesis carrot. So we can do exact carrot and uh, goals accomplished. There we go. And we get an error. You see, we're apologizing that we haven't done the level yet, but we have done the level. So Lean gives us an error, a pedantic error saying don't apologize. So let's delete that. And uh, there's our second level done. So that's the intro and the exact tactics. Uh, and now to do this next level, you need to know one more tactic. And once you know these three tactics, you'll be able to do every level uh, in this in this world. Sheet example sheet one, uh, and this level uh, is it says that if P is true and if P implies Q, then Q is true, right? And if you think about it logically, like that's 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 right, isn't it? If P is true and if P implies Q, then well, because P is true, if P implies Q, then Q must be true as well. Uh, so let's do intro intro HP, the assumption that uh, that P is true. And now we've got to 
prove that if P implies Q, then blah, blah, blah. So let's do intro, let's call it HPQ. There we go, the hypothesis that P implies Q. So now we have that P is true and that P implies Q, and we need to deduce that Q is true. So how are we going to do that? Well, P implies Q. So if we could prove P, then we can deduce Q, right? Uh, so what does that mean? That means we somehow we want to use, we want to apply this fact HPQ. We want to apply the fact that if P is true, then Q is true. So let's try applying it. Apply HPQ. And something has happened. If you look very carefully, I'll just move my cursor up and down between those two lines. You see the hypotheses didn't change, but the goal changed. So when we did apply HPQ, we say, well, P implies Q. We're supposed to be proving Q, but P implies Q. So if we apply that fact, then all we have to do is prove P instead. So now we're in good shape again because our goal is to prove P and our hypothesis, HP, is that P is true. And so this is exact HP. And there we go. That's how, uh, and that, that solved that level. Uh, now this next level, I'll, I'll, leave you, I'll leave you this one to do. Uh, by yourself but let me just show you one trick instead of a uh, instead of intro we were doing intro you can intro more than one thing at once we can do intros look intros hpq uh, now p implies q but now we've got to prove that if q implies r then blah 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 so we can just do more hqr there you see and now and now we have to prove that p implies r so let's assume that p is true as well you see it, it saves us we can write everything in one line i'll let you um I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Uh, let me just do uh, let me just do one last one because I'll I'll show you something show you something kind of interesting. Uh, this one says if p implies q implies r and if p implies q then p implies r. So let's do uh, intros hpqr there. So let's assume that p implies q implies r and now let's also assume that p implies q. Uh, so now we have to prove that P implies R. So let's assume P is true. And now we have to deduce R. Well, how are we going to deduce R from all of this stuff here? Well, this top hypothesis here, that's the only one that mentions R. It says that, I mean, this thing here says that R is a true false statement, but we can't really use that. Now, this thing here says that P implies Q implies R. So it says if P is true, then if Q is true, then R is true. So if we apply that, apply HPQR, then rather surprisingly, we get two goals, you see. Well, I guess it's not surprising because HPQR says if P is true and if Q is true, then R is true. And so after we apply HPQR, we've got two goals now. We've got to prove that P is true and we've got to prove that Q is true. Uh, and now really, because we've got two goals now, we should perhaps do something like indent. You know, we, we could indent two lines in here. And how are we going to, how are we going to solve this one? Every tactic I type now will only apply to the top goal. And I guess exact HP will solve that first goal. And now there's only one goal left, so we can we can unindent here. And now we can do, well, I'll, I'll leave it to you to work out what we can do next. Uh, but that's how to solve that one. And now these ones get a little bit trickier. You might think that this is all very easy, but actually uh, some of these are slightly more complicated. Uh, but you can solve every single one of these levels with those three tactics, intros, apply, and exact. Uh, so I mentioned those tactics at the beginning there, intro, exact, and apply. And if you look at the uh, the website for the lean, uh, uh, for the introduction to university mathematics, uh, the, the GitHub lean repository, uh, it, uh, it gives you some you know, explanations as to uh, what these tactics are. Maybe I'll just show them to you now. Uh, right, so uh, here we are at the, uh, the uh, Introduction to University Mathematics uh, Lean page. This is a GitHub repository. And, uh, and here we have as, as, you know, some basic ex explanations about what's going on, uh, but also uh, some descriptions about the tactics I've been using. Uh, there's the intro tactic and the exact tactic and the apply tactic. And those are the three tactics which you'll need uh, to be able to solve all of the levels. Uh, I mean, that and some ingenuity uh, is all you'll need to be able to solve all of the levels on that first uh, problem sheet. Uh, thanks so much.